Hi, I'm Mark Lever and today I'm going to be talking about the effect of temperature on nematodes, which are commonly called roundworms, and the name of the nematode I work with is Pristionchus pacificus. They are about one millimeter long and they are a great system for studying genetics. I'm specifically interested in how they evolve to survive at high temperatures. To do this, we need to study them in their natural habitat. In nature, nematodes live on beetles. They don't harm the beetle, they just use them as a way to get from place to place. This is a great system for studying ecology because the beetles, the nematodes and their habitat are one complete ecosystem. One habitat, which is very useful for us, is the Indian Ocean island called La Réunion. Because it's a volcano, it has a cone shape, which means there is a slow steady increase in altitude, and this means a slow steady decrease in temperature. What we do is collect beetles from different altitudes on the island, from sea level to the top, which is about 2,500 meters. We then isolate the nematodes from the beetles and take them back to the lab and test if they can survive at high temperatures. What we expect to see is that at high altitudes where it's cold, worms will not be able to survive at high temperatures because there's no selective pressure for them to have evolved that ability. However, we predict that at low altitudes, where temperatures can get as high as 35 degrees, evolution will have shaped the genome of the worms so that they can survive at high temperatures. What we can then do is search for genetic differences between worms that live at high or low altitudes so that we can find the genes which allow them to adapt to survive at high temperatures.